this is teacher Pamela plans welcome to my channel today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through my 2023 lineup and then I'm gonna show you my catch-all planner and do a walkthrough of that that's mostly what this uh, video is going to be all right let's get started I'm super excited to get started and doing these videos all right so I'm gonna start by just showing you some of them let me get some of this out of the way and I'm gonna start with this planner right here. This is gonna be my take with me planner. So this is my on the go planner that I'm gonna take with me when I'm out and about. This will go in my purse. It's really uh, small, so that's why I wanted one that could go with my purse. And this is actually a Jane's Agenda edition. She gave this out in August of last year for the uh, subscription members. And I'm really, really loving this idea of taking this planner with me on the go. So I'll get more into that uh, later. I'm using it for really going to the store, a perpetual planner, and just keeping a calendar of what's going on in my life. I still even have the... the um, <laughs> the wrapping on it. I'm just afraid because I just don't want to take the wrapping off and get it all scratched up. I want it to be nice. That's kind of how I am with my stuff. All right, so the next planner in my lineup is not really a planner. This is for my crafting, and this is an A5 um, ring. It's a three ring that I'm going to be using, and it is for my Junkie in 23 this is the Fussy Cut and Cuties group that I'm a part of, and I'm just obsessed. I love this group. They're a wonderful group of women. If you're not involved with them, you should get involved with them. Um, and I'm just super excited to be a part of it again this year. This year, we're going to be doing junk journals. So this is the guts that I still haven't even really put together yet. Um, haven't gotten started on that yet, but I'm going to be working on that very, very soon. And I will get that going for you as well. So this is going to be an artsy junk journal. So I'm super excited for that. Okay, the next journal that I want to show you or yes, it is a journal actually. This is going to be my health and wellness journal. And it's more on the emotional sides of things. Uh, self care type journal. And this is a JMB living journal. And it even comes, this is a quarterly journal subscription, a lovely bag to carry it in and a lovely cover as well. The cover is so soft. Um, J and B stands for joyful, mindful, balanced living. And this is the winter 2023. I'm not going to be sharing a lot of this on my channel because it's very, very personal, but I will do some walkthroughs of what the journal looks like. It's amazing and I love it and I'm really excited to use it this year. The next in my lineup, this is kind of a journal, will be my one little word. And this is another A5. This is going to be artsy. This was last year. What I did was the word sparkle. And so my word this year is going to be dream. So I'm going to be using that in here. And I'll get started on that really soon as well. I have it in my list of to-dos. So that's what I'm going to be doing for my one little word this year. The next thing I want to show you is my goals. For goals this year, I'm using Moxie Life's little notebooks. Um, I'm super excited. This is first for me. Before in the past, I've used Power Sheets. But to be honest, Power Sheets didn't go so effectively for me because they were kind of kept in a separate area, separate space. And these I'm able to take with me at all times. I also like that it really breaks down those goals even more than what I feel like the Power Sheets break down. So that's why I'm super excited to use these. You get four, four quarterly notebooks that go along with it, and this is just how you make your goals. So I'll get into that more into another video. So I'm using that. Last but definitely not least is my catch-all. This is my catch-all that um, I got the cover. As you can see, this is from Coco Paper. My actual cover I used, I ordered from Coco Paper, and they sent it in this bag. Um, I love Copa, Cocoa Paper because they make all their covers by hand. They're pretty pricey, but it's worth it to me. I got this cover last year, 
and I love it. And then I got another one for this year and I'm gonna kind of alternate depending on what decor I have in my planner at that period of time. Um, I am a Jane's Agenda monthly subscriber and so I change out my decorations in my planner every month, which I love to do because I don't wanna get bored. And so this kind of helps with that so I can rotate my decorations monthly. And so let's get it opened up. So this is the one that I bought last year. And both of mine are in the Happy Planner classic size, which is seven by nine and a quarter. And this particular one, as well as the, the other one I'll show you briefly in just a second, I asked for it to be extended to one and a half, so I can use one and a half discs if I would like to. And right now, currently, I do have one and a half discs in here. I put a lot in my catch-all, and so I want to have that extra, extra space in there to be able to do what I need to do. Okay, so this is the pale pink. I used the grace, and I did some um, writing. This is, I believe, Alex brush. Um, this is the faux cover in pale pink. You can tell it's shinier. Um, but then I splurged a little bit this year and I got, this is still the same size, seven by nine and a quarter, but I got the actual leather this time and still did the same print and same size, same everything. I extended it just like I did this one. And it's only like $4 to extend it out. Um, but they do everything overseas, so it does take some time. So if you do want to go with cocoa paper, I suggest that you get it ahead of time because it's going to take several weeks before you're actually going to get it. But I think they're beautiful. So I'm going to show you. It's got the snap clip, and they have lots of options. They have tons of sizes, and they also have tons of different kinds. But I really like this one because of all the lovely pockets. You'll see. Okay, so... It has a pocket here that you can even put a tablet in. Um, I don't use it for my tablet. I actually, that's what I'm gonna put, be putting my Moxie Life goal notebooks in. So they fit perfectly in there and with still some room. There's like even more room in there. I could put more in there if I wanted to. Um, so I, I like to put those in there. Um, but remember like the more stuff you put in, the bulkier it's gonna get. Then I just love all these pockets right here in the front. So I, I love to have something with some ambiance in the front that I can look at and love on. When I open my planner, it makes me excited to use my planner. So that's why I love having all these pockets here, which the grace allows for. This is all from Jane's Agenda. Most of the stuff you're going to see is from Jane's Agenda since I'm a subscriber. This is the, from the January subscription box. You've got some page flags here, and then you also have some regular post-its, half, half size, half sheets. So I've got those in there, and it's just is so beautiful. This flower clip was actually from a different Jane's Agenda um, subscription box, but it goes so nicely in here with these colors. So I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to use that. And then we have our quote which is edit your life frequently and ruthlessly. It is your masterpiece after all by Nathan M. Morris. And it's, then it says January, 2023, Jane's agenda. I love moon phases, kind of obsessed with them. And so I've kind of started a new like ritual um, during them just to relax, make some goals, that kind of stuff. I'm not super crazy about it, but um, and so this tells you what those moon phases mean. The new moon means to reset, new beginnings, first quarter, take actions and work hard, full moon, harvest endeavors, celebrate, last quarter, release and let go. Then we get into the actual, um, guts, if you will, of my actual planner. So right here I have my discs. So, so like I said, I'm using a happy planner size, which means it takes nine rings. And these are from, trying to think, Talia. And they come in a, in a group of 11, but I only need a, nine for this particular planner. Um, they come in a pack of 12. But And what I like about this is that then it protects my cover from getting scratches from like the clips and things like that that I put on the side. I just want to protect them because I love them so much. And I like to reuse them. 
So this is the cover for January. I'm so excited about it. It's got beautiful gold foil. It says the best is yet to come. And then it's got like this glitter on it that just is very much screaming Happy New Year's as well as the quote, the better, the best is yet to come. I was obsessed with this. I love it so much. I was so excited about this particular cover. And then to add to that, I have, because like I said, I'm kind of obsessed with the celestial stuff. So I have another one of these dividers to kind of protect. So this is my vellum moon one, and this is from Jane's Agenda as well. And I, I got this, um, in the subscription box last year. Okay. So all my decorations that you're going to see, it's all Jane's Agenda. So I'm going to say that right now. So I don't have to keep saying it. This is a divider also from last January's Jane's Agenda. Love it so much with the moon coming through and it really works with the colors of this of this January. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do I'm just going to use that. Same same idea. All right. So and then on the back of that is this marbly color which I really love with some some of the copper and gold and blues and browns. It's just gorgeous and fun. And then on the other side of that, I have my quote cards at the protector. I actually got this from Fancy Plans Co. And then I decided to put um, my quote cards inside of it. So this first one says, first you dream, then you do, which if you see on the next page, that is my word of the year. So I really liked that because I wanted the word dream. I love it. Let's do what we love and a lot of it. That was Mark Jacobs. It's already yours, the universe. Trust the magic of new beginnings. Thinking about New Year's with that. Leading lady. That came in this month's subscription box. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts Winston Churchill. I've been watching um, The Crown, so I was like all about that one. You got to move different when you want different. And that's actually from Fancy P Plans Co. that came with my order. Collect beautiful moments. So that's kind of going to get me started for this year. And I just love how that looks like with when I flip it. And then this side has got the background of the marble. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And then on this side, I have my dream quote definition. So I have a cherished aspiration, ambition, or ideal. This I made myself and created it just through Canva. And I'm excited to start creating things and perhaps put them up on Etsy for people if they're interested. And then I have this beautiful background. Um, and it's just gorgeous to go in there. This painted, painted picture um, behind my word of the year. And then on the back of that, this is also from the January, um, this 2023 subscription box is another kind of Marvel, but a little bit different. Okay. So I have another, um, tab here and my next section is going to be my to do section. All right. So I actually have my table of contents in here. My inbox has my folder, perpetual planner, brain dump, inbox, quote, a uh, quad notes and projects. And then my second divider is going to be goals and that's a 52 weeks. And I'll show you that dream board, life tracker, quarterly results, monthly goals, ideal routine, and a mood tracker. Section four is my faith planner, which has per requests and weekly lessons. Section six is my cleaning section, which is quarterly cleaning, weekly cleaning. And then it has, uh, through this, um, website, clean mama. And she kind of breaks everything down for you, which I really, really love. Um, cause I get kind of overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, well, like, how do I get to everything? And then I get behind, uh, section six is finance and that's business expenses and payments, personal monthly budget and my wish list. And then I have an, in seven section seven, I have notes and extra inserts and so that they're readily available. All right. So this is my first section, which is my inbox. And this came from the September box. I love it so much. And it kind of goes with this brown, brown theme. So I kept it here. I have a couple of those um, posties from the front and, and flags so that I can use those. And I created this inbox uh, page. So I didn't actually print this out. Um, I used 
of my Cricut for this part. And I, I kind of wanted to have a, a little bit of a theme, so I made it similar to my contents page, which I also made similar to my dream page. So they all kind of are cohesive and go together, which I love. Um, and this again is that marble from Jane's Agenda with the back of it. So this is what she kind of had for what you could use as the cover, but I really wanted to use the moon, so instead I used that and used these in other places. And so here I have my planner routine so that I can go through what I need to each day. And so that's what goes here. This, I'm not sure if I'm going to use or not. This is actually from last year. And I didn't really use it. It's a visual year planner to kind of plan things out. So we'll see. Um, so with my planner routine comes, I have a folder here that I'm going to use and I just am going to put like extra papers, like mail that I get, things like that. Maybe something important from school, from my son's school, things like that to go in there. And then we get into the calendar. So this is going to be the perpetual calendar. You can see I've already started on my perpetual calendar for January. I haven't written in anything else yet, but I could, um, but I haven't gotten to that yet. It's separated by quarters and each month, which I really like for the perpetual planning. So next on the back of that, it has a task list and I'm thinking about adding in like oil changes and just things that you don't really think about like, oh yeah, like I'm going to need to do these things this month that I wouldn't normally like that are not the everyday things. Maybe perhaps some of the things that are cleaning like, um, and changing the filters and things like that. So that's what I'm going to add to this task list. And so then with that, I'm going to add some sort of uh, dashboard here probably so I can see this better but these are my brain dump triggers so I have some brain dump triggers and then over here is my inbox this is from fancy plan uh, plans co um, that I ordered specifically from her because I really liked the way she had this um, organized so that I could write the task down and I'm planning on separating it into now later waiting on I'm just going to have the four categories and someday. So then one of those is going to be blank and that's okay. I'm fine with that. And then when it's done, you can check off this gray area here. So then that way I can transfer things over into my to do's for different weeks and things. So this is my tasks, projects, all those kinds of things that I have going on in my head right next to my brain dump. So as I'm going through my brain dump, I can just write them down here. And then um, I have it all set to like, okay, these are all the things that I need. And then I can prioritize what do I need to do now? What can I do later, etc. And then on the back of that, if I want to organize it into sections, I may do that. Um, um, organizing my to-dos, if I have so much going on at a particular time, maybe work. Um, you know, my me time stuff, the kids, you know house cleaning, whatever. So I can separate it into a quad if I want to as well. The next section I have here is projects. So things that I'm working on that are going to take more than one step is what I'm going to use here. Things that kind of are overwhelming, perhaps especially things like I'm trying to organize a little bit better, organize the house more. And it's just so overwhelming of like, how do I organize this? What is this going to look like? Um, so I'm working on that as well as building up this YouTube channel, start, starting with social media stuff right now. And that feels a little overwhelming. So that'll probably be another one. So breaking it down into the different tasks, when I'm going to start, deadline, that kind of thing. So this really breaks it down even more. Like this is like uh, the project itself, like one project, opportunities, wins, and notes. And then we get more of those. So I have a couple of those in here ready to go. My next section is my goal section. I'm all about goals. Love it. Um, so I'm excited for this section and this beautiful, beautiful vellum came in the Jane's agenda as well. And it came with this as the back to make living itself an art. That is the goal. Henry Miller. 
So this is the 42 weeks too that I talked about in the beginning there and uh, that was in the inbox content section. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna use this for my physical health journey. Um, I've been struggling a lot with some physical health issues like my shoulders and my hips. I've been going to PT for it as well as massage therapy for it. And so I've been trying to work on that um, work on my physical health as far as what I'm eating and how I'm exercising and things like that as well. So that is what I'm going to use for this. And this is also manifesting next to that. So helping myself to get there with positive thinking and manifesting and how I was lucky. All right. The next part is actually my dream board. And so I've got all sorts of stuff going on here. This is separated into the moxie life areas so i have my personal i have my fun and recreation work and learning family and relationships health and wellness spiritual financial and physical um, environment so i have all those in there i don't know if i'm gonna keep it like this on the vellum it's kind of it's curled up and like i don't know it's not totally working but we'll see how it goes as we move forward the next awesome thing that Jane gave us in the past subscription boxes is this le level 10 life tracker. So I'm going to combine this kind of with the Moxie life and it has like all the areas of life. It has 10. I'm going to use the eight, just keep it to the Moxie life and um, show those different areas here. So what you're actually supposed to do there is decide on the on the areas, which I'm just going to use the Moxie Life areas. Step two, think of small things, mini goals that would improve each area and write them down. So I think those are just going to be my steps, my action steps. Um, maybe my monthlies, we'll see, because this could be a year-long situation here. Um, so it's just going to be like, it might, I might even use my annual goals there and just show like, these are the steps that I'm trying to take and then cross them off when I get there. So more of a recording, recording of that, because it's kind of difficult with the annual goals to get those out and, and visualize them all the time. And now I have them here at all times, like right in front of me that I can use. All right. So that's the, the areas of life. And then I have breaking it down into like the goal and how it's actually going for each every single month. So this will be my monthly goals and that I'm going to write over here. What was the goal and did I make it or not? Okay. So we have all of those for all the quarters and all the different areas um, of whether or not I got there or not. So that'll be the results. So I can record my results and how things are going. And then this one is kind of specific. So that's kind of quarterly slash monthly. And this really kind of breaks it down even more telling, you know, oh, what do you have going on? I may or may not use this. I'm not really sure yet if it's necessary, given that, again, I've broken everything down into the moxie life. So we'll see. Um, I just put it in here simply because I'm like, well, I can kind of see as we go along, is it something that I can build on or, you know, I may not. So if anyone has any ideas about how to use this, that's awesome. You can put your important dates in there, it says, and your actual goals per month. Um, but I kind of feel like if I already put it here, I don't know that I really need to put it all down here. Um, but you could even break things down more perhaps, um, because this is specific projects and everything, but there's not as many spaces as, I mean, if I'm doing monthly, if I'm being honest, my monthly goals, I have several, way more than like half of this. Like I have way more than that and I'm adding more and more as I go along. So I just don't know if that's going to fit for me. Um, but we'll see. I love this part. This is the, this is actually from last year's as well, but I never used it, but I'm just so excited about it. So I kind of combined last year's and this year's what she gave us because um, I kind of like some pieces of this year's better. So, and she specifically says, here's your ideal day. What would it look like? Um, and then here's your ideal di week. What would it look like? This is actually the back of that. And then this is another option. This was from last year's. Here's your ideal day. 
And like, I get up at like five. So, I mean, I'm glad it has that in there. But what I really like about this one is that it has the entire 24 hours on it, which I think is great because everybody's schedules are different. Um, so I have a couple of options there to go through and think about what's going to be my ideal day, morning, afternoon, evening routines, what those look like. And so I have some options there. This is another weekly option that I can look at. So here I have my January mood tracker. There isn't a mood tracker in the JMB Living. I really enjoyed last year having a mood tracker. I actually used Silk and Zonder last year for my self care, um, which I really loved, but I kind of wanted to budget a little bit more and the JMB was slightly less expensive. So um, I went with that option. And I thought, well, I can just look and see if anybody has any mood trackers on Etsy. And uh, I found one. And I love it. And it's gorgeous. She uses watercolor pictures. And it's just beautiful. And I'm totally fine with it. And I'm not sure how much it costed, but it was not expensive. This is the mood tracker bundle on Etsy. And it's in bloom watercolor it's called floral self-care diy and this is by pretty witty makings so that's who made this and i just love it i think it's beautiful and she has different ones for each month which i love that part of it too and so she already gives you the colors here which i already have those colors so i was totally fine with that being the colors and then i just put in what each one meant for me i put more than one thing for each one just like I did in my silk and sonder because for me like you could put happy for one and like there's different forms of happy there's different ranges of happy what does that really mean so I kind of put content happy joyful if I'm any of those feelings then I give it a purple normal average meh irritated angry stressed lethargic sick tired anxious sad lonely so it gives me a little bit of a better idea. Okay, well, I didn't really feel anxious, but I felt sad today. Like there's a big difference between the two, but yet I'm making them the same color just because they're both not really positive feelings. My next section, which is my schedule section, and we're moving on to those lunar phases. I created this as well. And I actually added in, I'm gonna probably put this on Etsy as well. Um, I added in, the different moons, like what they are. We have the wolf moon, snow moon, sap moon, according to um, Native American tradition. And I just, I have an actual um, journal that goes through the different phases and activities to do during the, those phases. And it's just something fun for me to do that's self-care um, associated. So I really enjoy, enjoy doing that and just giving me some peace and time to myself meditating and praying. So I enjoy that. And then I have the back of that with that marble. And this is another one from last year with the balloon. And then I have my year at a glance, 2023. Probably won't do a whole lot with it. Just use it to look at for reference holidays on the back. And then I have a quarterly planner that she gave us. Not sure if I'm going to need to use this either. Um, but it kind of separates things out okay if I'm going to quarterly plan so splitting down what annually is happening, like just breaking things down even more and more. So I, I like the idea of it. I just don't know. It's just another thing. And I just don't know what I'm going to have time for. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do it some quarters, maybe not others. I'm okay with that. And that's one of the things that I feel like in the planner community, you know, it's like, oh, you have to do all the things. And that's not necessary. It, this is not for us to drive ourselves insane. Uh, the point is to have fun with it you know, do what you can. It's not about like who did the most things, you know, oh, well, I decorated every single week. Well, good for you, you know, but not everybody is able to do that and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So here is my January. So we're getting into the monthly. Now is the time for guts and go. This is by Elizabeth Taylor and this is the January vellum. I love it. She started giving us those. And then she also gave us free January inserts. Now, I might go and splurge a little bit. I do have a little bit of extra points in my Jane, Jane's agenda. I'm not a super big fan, I'll be honest, of this insert of the monthlies. It's too small for me. 
Um, and you'll see that in a second. It's too small. I do like the front that it's plain. A lot of her inserts have a lot of stuff going on in the front and I just don't use it. Um, so I really like the front of this. So what maybe I might do is like take this and I'm just now thinking of this, but I might take this and tape it to the front of some of the other ones. So just, it's just crisp and clean and has the, you know, year at a glance or the month at a glance, I guess. And then the back of it, I'll have the other one. And that's a good idea. And I found when I started doing this one, I tried it. I was like, you know what? I'll try it. I got it. It's in the subscription box. I like to use what I have. I like the quote at the top. I think that's fun. And I use this a lot. This actual particular quote I used a ton last year. It was my Facebook profile picture forever because um, I was working on some self-care mental health stuff. And it says, she remembered who she was and the game changed. And I love that quote beyond belief. And so the fact that she had that in there just got me all the feels. Um, so as you can see, like, it's just really small. And then you'd have to write things down. And honestly, like, that's not enough. Like, I have a lot going on in my life. Like, this isn't even done. So I have a lot going on in my life. And like... I don't have enough spaces for these like and for this to be the amount of space it's just not enough space for me it's like I don't have the space here to write down what I have going on and so I need something a little bit bigger I like to have a two-page spread for my monthly so I'm probably gonna order that and just use I'll probably take the quote and put it somewhere else because I love it and then I'll probably like just glue um, or tape this onto onto the two because I do like this front. I love the front of that. All right, so then we move to our actual. Um, I use a daily. I've done some minimal decorating this week, so this is what it looks like. This is um, I love this. This is one of Jane's inserts, and I purchased this one specifically. I like it because it has the habits at the top. So I'm going to be using that for my daily habits that I have from my Moxie Life. So I can just transfer them here and record them here. An insert also. And it has an AM and PM half sheet. It was another one that came in came in a box um, that she gave us. Love them. And so I'm going to just keep up with my especially PM routine. I'm not very good about my PM routine. And that's one of my goals is to increase that. So here I have um, the, you have your hourly and I love that it goes from five to 10 because I'm up at five. I'm getting to work. Um, I'm working um, online by 6.15 and I'm very briefly on, but then I've got a lot of stuff going on there. So it has enough for your whole schedule and it's got double um, or it's got those lines for each of those. So, and you could even write in like, sometimes I write in like 5.15 or, you know, whatever. Um, at the top. So that's helpful. And down here, I'm actually going to be doing meals. Here's your to-do list for the week. And then you have to-do lists separated into two sections. So you could do at work and home if you wanted. I'm actually, since I work from home, kind of going to separate it into like my goals. I'm trying that out. Just to-dos, regular to-dos and goals. I love how it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are the same. So Saturday Sundays are just as big as the other days. I don't know that I fill those out as often, but I still have things going on. So at least I have the opportunity to fill it out if I want. On the back of that insert is a January review, what worked well, areas of opportunity, notes moved to next month, things that I need to move. I like this box a lot, things that I need to move over. Um, but the rest of it, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna use it because here's the thing. What worked well, areas of opportunity, all that's in the Moxie Life reviews. So I don't want to repeat my life. Like that's the one thing about like some of this stuff is that like I'm not going to write it here and then copy it there just so it looks all cohesive. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of like wasted, wasted time. Um, so I don't want to repeat things just to fill it out, just, just to fill it out. So um, I'm just not about that life. If you are, that's fine. That's great. But that's not how I want to spend my time. So this is faith. This is my faith section. I really love how this is um, 
layered live love and dream this is a dashboard um that's laminated and then we have this turquoisey marble so i kind of went with a marble theme of all the marbles that um i've gotten and this is the prayer and praises that i'm gonna have put on this little half sheet and then this so this part is happy planner um section i don't think i'm probably gonna use this i'll probably glue it together this is um, prayer reading, you know, just to keep up with those habits. I'm Methodist, and so in, within our group, we do what's called Wesley Covenant Group Bible Study. And so um, I'm going to put all that questions that we discuss and things like that in here. So that's what I'll be doing for that. And this is my home section, like I said, and I love this so much, this layering. It's just so pretty and wintry. Um, so here, Jane's Agenda gave us these lovely, lovely inserts in one of the um, subscription boxes. Quarterly cleaning, weekly cleaning, as you can see I've started that. And then this is the mama routine that I was talking about, the clean mama routine. And she just breaks everything down. Start with the daily. Do these things every day. Once you have those down, then start with the weekly tasks. She breaks it up per day. So it's not so overwhelming. And she really is like, only spend two minutes on doing this. If it's taking longer than that, then be done. You know, there's another day. And I really love that about it because I think we get into these things with cleaning of like, you know, oh yeah, I got to do all these things. And it just, ugh, it takes up your whole life. And then you're like, okay, all I'm doing is cleaning all the time. This is not what we want in our lives. We need to have other things in our lives. Okay. So then they also have these rotating um, checklists and I can go through all this, but I just really love how she breaks it down even like per room and she breaks it down you know, into like, like, like 15 minute, like, here's how you clean the bathroom really quick. Here's how you clean the whole house really quick. And just all those kinds of things. And I really love, here's how you clean the washing machine really quick. Just all those things. Love it. Next section is my finances. So this is going to be, um, for my out school, my spending log, um, what I spend and then how much I get paid and it gets paid through a uh, PayPal account. And then, um, so any expenses that I have towards the business, my husband's a CPA, so then therefore he has note of, you know, how much I spent and how much I'm getting. Then um, this is going to be for me myself with my transactions just to keep a little bit of a better um, idea of what's going on with myself, what I'm spending on, and my wish list, things that I want to buy, and then my actual, my personal budget. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And I, I don't know. I might use one of these banks transition. I put it in both places. One for the business and one for not. But we'll see. And then my last section is my notes section. Which this is just so gorgeous. I love looking at these things. Um, and then I've got like just fun things to do in there. That's one of my note pages. And then I have um, some extra quad pages in there. Right now I just have extra note pages in there. Um... And then later I'll add probably some inserts to there. So that is my catch-all planner. Forgot to show you the back of this. So it does slide in there. Just so you know, like you can slide. I, I also add, I add a divider to the back just to protect the cover. But um, so I slide this in here. It has a pen loop. And this is an old happy planner that I just leave in there. And then that way I can still use my my like actual covers for the rest of it and it stays in there so I snap that on so I can still see the back of this cover and have fun with it and this is you know I'm not worried about so that is my catch-all I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please click the like button and I would love to have you as a subscriber I'm new here and I'm just looking to share with what I love and what I enjoy. That's all I'm looking for here. So I hope you enjoyed. All right. And I'll see you back here for another video soon.